Hey guys, Shakarov here. Uh, so, uh, this week was the release date of History of Hockey uh, by In The Game. Uh, I was super, super excited to open a box. I actually opened the case, uh, a four box case. I uh, was also very scared because of the checklist. Uh, you can hit amazing cards in there. Uh, every box you get uh, one PSA DNA um, authenticated autograph. You get um, a rookie uh, authenticated uh, certified authentic by Beckett. You have a buyback from in the game. It can be from anywhere to 1998. I don't know BAP memorabilia to uh, to to like decades 1980s. And finally, you get. Um, Memorabilia and art card can be one of ones, can be out of ten, can be out of forty, uh, with some very very neat um, art on those cards. So I opened the four box case. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I couldn't use the computer at that time, uh, and my camera was full, so I couldn't film it. Uh, so I'm going to show you what I got with uh, top one, two, uh, top four, the end, uh, but really it's up three. We'll see. So first up, we can start with the um, the buybacks, uh, I actually got two nine decades 1980s autographs, which is a bit disappointing, uh, considering it's a four box case and it's hand packed. So I don't know if the cases are hand packed or it's every box is hand packed. So I don't really want to complain or anything, but anyway, I got a Dale Hunter autograph from decades and also Borier Salming. <clears throat> then we can go with the rookies. Uh, nothing really incredible. Let's put it well, no order. Uh, from 0506 Black Diamond, I got Cam Ward. Not too shabby. From 9192 Upper Deck, oh yeah, Junior Tournament, World Junior Tournament. Uh, from Team Russia, Alex Kovalev. <clears throat> I also got from 1975-76 OPG, which is pretty neat, Errol Thompson. And finally from uh, 05-06 Flair Ultra, Henrik Lundqvist. So those were my rookies, nothing really impressive, interesting, you don't know. Uh, then for the PSA DNA autographs, I got from uh, 1980 OPG, Nick Fotu. From 1980 OBG as well, Bari Salmi. Don't really see it, but it's autograph, of course. And you can see on top PSA DNA Authentic Auto. And I got from 1982 OBG Brian Engblom, who was playing for the Habs at that moment, but traded to the Capitals. <coughs> and finally, for the memorabilia, I had the art and memorabilia. All those cards could have been in my top. <clears throat> They're beautiful. Uh, I got a uh, Patrick Roy Briggs Sachak Smart out of 40. So those are printed art. So they're not original art. You see two color piece here of memorabilia. Avalanche out of 40. Then I got a 48 goals by a defenseman. Gold, number 9 out of 10. Then again, very nice two color piece. Paul Coffey. Two color piece out of ten gold, and I got a semi PC hit, PC hit, uh, gold medal save uh, that was from the 1994 Olympics uh, when Tommy Salo uh, made a save on Paul Korea to uh, so Swedes would beat Canada and blah blah blah. Uh, numbered out of ten with a nice two color Team Sweden jersey, Tommy Salo jersey. The best part of the card, obviously, Mr. Korea right there. Although it was probably one of the saddest moments in his career. That and the numerous concussions. Anyway, uh, and for the top, I got from the buybacks an international gold from 0102 BAP Signature Series of Paul Korea. It's actually a pretty, pretty rare set. Very sought after. And that's also a PC hit, so very nice. Then I got from 0203 Packers, uh, Mario's mate, dual jersey of Mario Lemieux and Eric Lindros. 
I thought that was sweet. I mean, that's not a $400 card by any means, but I very, really like it. And my top two, I'll go with that one first, uh, but I, it's debatable. Um, from the memorabilia and art, number 9 out of 10, Machine Gun Ted with a very nice piece of Ted Lindsay jersey. So very nice piece of vintage jersey. You can see here, you can see a patch piece actually. Sorry if it doesn't, anyway you can see it. Out of 10, very nice art. And finally, um, PSA DNA authentic autograph from 1966 Tops. Very neat card. I, I might actually keep it because I very much like that card. Bobby Hall. Sorry, I'll try to have as less, as little glare as possible. Bobby Hall, 1966 Tops autograph. So that's it for a case. Uh, I would say I. Like if I were to sell it, I would be very disappointed. It's like value-wise, not so sure. Uh, as a collector, I love this product. I had a boatload of fun opening it, and like pulling 66 stops is not something that will happen every day, right? Um, I actually had a second case opened by the Clues and Terra folks. I will post that as soon as I get it. It's actually a lot nicer than this. Uh, I got a few very very nice cards in that case. So that's it, folks. I hope you enjoyed uh, the view, and I will see you guys later with more breaks. Bye.